getting dark and things, so we're not going to have service tonight. So please uh, take the time. We usually have church and just pray. Pray for those that are sick. Pray for the church. Will you do that? If you're not able to be here, but during that time we usually come, just take time at home to pray for our church. Pray for me. I ain't been feeling great. I took two COVID tests. I don't have COVID. So <laughs> I just got a cold. It's a sinus thing. But pray for me that God would touch me. And let's just stand today and ask God to have his way. He's already been here in Sunday school. So if you didn't come to Sunday school, you missed it. But guess what? He's still here. Amen. The Bible says we're two or three of us. Come together in his name. He'd be in the midst. So let's just invite him to have his way. Father, we love you. And God, we thank you, God, for what you've already done. God, in Sunday school, God, we know today, God, that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can even imagine and think. God, we're not putting limits on you. We're asking for your freedom and your liberty here this morning. And Father, I pray for this offering, God, that you would bless it, multiply it. And God, let us use it for your purpose and your glory. God, we give you the honor and the praise in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. Let's worship him today. And as Pastor mentioned, wonderful Sunday school. Stay in the presence of the Lord during our worship service. And just thanking Him for who He is and what He is to us.
traveled so long, I'm happy, redeemed, and free. Of Jesus the Lord, I sing a sweet song. His love lights the way for me, for me. His love lights the way. His love lights the way. I travel today. I travel today. I'm shouting the victory. victory. My sadness is past. My sadness is past. I'm happy at last. I'm happy at last. His love lights the way for me, for me. The pleasures of sin no more I desire no good in Lights the way, lights the way. I travel today. I travel today. I'm shouting the victory. victory. My sadness is past. My sadness is past. I'm happy at last. I'm happy at last. His love lights the way for me. this morning, church. Thank him for his love. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a new song this morning, teach you guys. Sister Becky's going to sing the lead on this. But, you know, I've heard this song on the radio and, and didn't pay a whole lot of attention. And Sister Darla said, we ought to learn this song. And so I got it and I got, the, got to looking at the words to the verse, verses. And you know, I, I, looking at, it, it tells the whole gospel story from beginning to end. From Christ's birth, to his crucifixion, to his resurrection. And when you've lived, when you've experienced that story in your own life, when the power of the gospel has set you free, you can't help but give praise to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship with us as we sing it this morning, King of Kings.
falling apart. It's hard to just praise God. It's, it's sometimes hard to just worship Him. But there's so many examples in the Bible. And one of them else I was wanting to bring up is Job lost everything. But the best part I love about that was is after all that news it didn't say that he went before God whining and complaining and throwing a fit and why, whoa, way, you know. Instead it said he tore off his clothes and he worshipped. He worshipped. He said, this was not mine in the first place. God give, God take it the way. He didn't throw a fit. Instead he just worshipped God. We don't understand why certain things happen. But I love what Sister Poole said. Maybe we just need to worship Him. Because I know me personally, when I worship God, when I forget about the troubles, when I forget about the problems, and everything seems to be just coming at me, and if I just drop and just worship Him, it just seems like all that trouble just melts away. When we focus more on Him than our problems, when we focus upon worshiping Him, all the struggles and all the problems, you know, and we just say, I don't, don't care. I just want to worship. So we sing this again before we go into prayer. Forget about what's going on around you right now. And just worship. Just worship Him. And just feel His peace and His joy. You rose all of heaven held its breath till that storm was moved for good for the land that conquered death and the dead rose from their tombs and the angels stood in awe for the soul. 
souls of all who come to the Father are restored. The church of Christ was born in the spirit in the flame. Now this gospel truth of old shall not be or shall not fade. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ giving it to him right now. I'm giving it to him. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are. And God, we thank you that no matter what happens and what comes our way, that you are always in control. And that we can look to you for you have no limits. You have no boundaries. And God, we know that we can look to you and know that it's going to be taken care of. And God, we just ask that you reach out to each and every one of these needs, God, that you will touch them and you will guide and you will strengthen. And we give you glory and we give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Worship with us this morning as Sister Darla leads us. Before the Lamb of God and sing, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory.
deserve the glory. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Let your worship arise this morning, day church. And night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. You are worthy of it all. take a, just a few minutes just where you are and just give God your praise you know sometimes we say forget about your problems but this morning I don't want you to forget about your problems I just, don't, I just want you to praise him
you can be seated if you can. a sweet spirit in this place. The brother Aaron this morning is going to bring a special to us, so may God bless him as he brings forth the song. I believe it's Isaiah 43.2. That says, but now says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, and I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. I think of several people when I read these verses. I think of people who have literally been in the waters in the Bible, and some of the ones who have literally been thrown into the fiery furnace. I'm talking about Noah for when the floods came, and God, built, God told him to build the boat, and he was prepared. And I'm talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were thrown into the fire. But amen, God brought them through, all right? Amen. Hallelujah. Or how about Joshua when him and Israel, when they crossed over the Jordan River, keep notice that he didn't say, I would put the fire out. He didn't say, I'm going to walk you around the fire. He said, I'm going to take you through it. Because sometimes you got to go through the things. I think that sometimes the devil tries to tell us when we get to that fire that you need to turn around and you need to go back. This is too much. This is too much pressure. You want to go back to your old life. But I'm here to tell you that God wants to bring you through. You're going to miss out on your blessing. You're going to miss out on the wisdom that he has to give you through these trials. I've had to deal with a difficult person one time at work, and I didn't understand it. It was a very wicked woman, came out of nowhere. And um, I just kept praying and just saying, Lord, help me to deal with this person. Help me to be Christ-like with this person. And um, I just think I felt like God had spoke to me during that time. You know, I had moved to a different department, and I didn't really have to deal with her. But I left on good terms. You know, I could have got mad at this woman. I could have... Um, done all kinds of things I, I would never do. I'd never cuss a person out. But you just think of how some people handle situations when that comes to it. And I could have handled that. But thank the Lord that he gave me the patience and gave me compassion and understanding of the things that that person's been through. And I'm glad that I was able to be Christ-like. And then who knows, she may look back on that later and um, come to Christ. And I'm just glad that the Lord helps me through my trials and helps me um, get through all that. I never did get to tell you. It's till the storm passes by, uh, track three. the dark of the midnight have I often my face 
While the storms howled above me, seems there's no hiding place. Oh, mid the crash of the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry and keep me safe till the storm passes by. Till the storm passes over Until the thunder sounds no more Oh, till the clouds roll forever From the sky Hold me fast and let me stand Satan whispers, he says there's no need to try, for there's no end of sorrow, oh, there's no hope by and by, oh, but I know that thou art with me. times we get our eyes fixed on the storm and we were wondering, God, why the storm? Instead of remembering while we're in the storm, he said, I'll be very present in the time of your trouble, in the midst of your storm. Amen. God is still there and still worthy of our praise. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to dismiss our kids back to kids church. Amen. They're raring to go. Amen. And good to feel the presence of the Lord here today. Amen. Oh, I've got three people enjoying the presence of the Lord today. How many is enjoying the presence of the Lord here today? Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles this morning, I'm going to try to preach to you from Isaiah chapter 40 and verses 28 through 31. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Cold outside, but it feels good in here. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. If you're able to stand and like to stand for the reading of the word, please feel free. It says, Has thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. 
He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But, get that, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Today I want to preach on the thought of draw your strength from the Lord in 24. Draw your strength from the Lord. God, I need your strength today. Amen. How many needs his strength? Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you this morning for your presence. And I thank you, Lord, for speaking to us through tongues, interpretation of tongues. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost, God, that's here in this house. And, Father, I need you this morning, God, to touch my voice and help me, Lord, to declare the Word of God that you want spoken here today. Help me, God, not to say what I want to say, but, God, what you want me to say. And, Father, I pray most of all, that everything that I say and do, God, will be unctioned and anointed of the Holy Ghost. And Father, I pray it all in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, you may be seated. I'm going to do my best today. Amen. Draw your strength from the Lord in 24. Sometimes I think we forget who we serve. And how many knows this morning it's okay to ask for help? Sometimes we get so focused on our problems, our storms, or how messed up this world is that we forget who we serve. Amen. And we must also remember that we are not meant to walk this Christian walk by ourselves. Amen. We're not meant to walk this walk in our own strength, our own power, in our own abilities. But we must learn to draw our strength from the Lord. Amen. Amen. But how many knows as we live in this world and as we walk this walk, there are times that our strength runs out. Amen. And we wear down. Amen. And sometimes we even wear out. Right? But we must learn during the times of weakness, during the times where we feel like we're worn out, that we can draw our strength from the Lord. Amen. Because it's not about my strength and it's not about your strength. Amen. The Bible says, in Zechariah 4 and 6, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord, saying, It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. We're never meant to fight our battles and to go through trials in our own strength, in our own power, and our own abilities. Amen. It's the Spirit of God that lives within us. Amen. And it's His strength that we're to lean on during our times of trial and tribulation. Amen. Praise God. Help me to get it out, Lord. I sound worse than I feel. Amen. We must remember that he is everlasting. Everlasting means lasting forever, eternal, lasting or enduring through all time. How many knows God is going to be here today? He's going to be here tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow is going to hold, but we can know that God is going to be there tomorrow no matter what you and I have to go through. Amen? 
God is, God was, and God will always be there. Amen. And we must learn to lean on him. Amen. Don't forget who you serve. Amen. He is the everlasting almighty God. Amen. The word almighty means having unlimited power. God is not human. Amen. God is not limited to power. He is the almighty. Amen. No problem you face. No sickness or situation that you are faced with is bigger than your God. Amen. He is the almighty, all-powerful God that we serve. Amen. And his power does not drain when we draw from him. Have you ever felt like you give all you can give? You gave everything that you had to give and you're wore out? Huh? How many knows God never comes to that place? I can draw strength from the Lord and he still has enough power for Nate to draw strength from him. Amen. God never runs out of power. He is power. Amen. He's power for me. He's power for you. He's power for the nations. Amen. He is the almighty. That's who we serve. That's who we should gain strength from. Amen. He is the one that we can go to when we are weak. You know how they hook the cars up to the machines now to draw power for them to drive. Or we go to the gas station and we get gas, amen, to put in our car so we can go on. How many knows there's times we got to go to God and we got to hook up and say, God, give me more strength. Give me more power. I need to go a little farther. Amen. But there's not one time you're going to go to God and God's going to say, I'm sorry. I don't have the strength that you need. But every time you go to God, God will always have the strength and the power that you need. Amen. That you can draw from. Amen. Over and over and over again. How many of those, you don't come to God at salvation and ends. We must continually go back to God to renew our strength. Amen. Renew. That means bring it again. He wants to strengthen us over and over and over again. Amen. How many knows he never has to borrow power? He never has to produce more power, for he is power. Amen. People come and people go. Kings and presidents come and go. Some not soon enough. Preachers come. And preachers go. And maybe you're saying, not soon enough. (laughs) But how many of those God's going to last forever? This is who we should be drawing our strength from today, church. We should be drawing our strength from God, not from a man or a woman. But we should be drawing our strength from God, amen, that has no limits, that has no boundaries. And he's able to sustain us. Amen. But I came today just to remind you of who we serve. Sometimes we get in life and we go through trials and we go through tests and we see all the mess that's going on in the world and we forget who we serve. We serve the almighty God. And how many knows today he's still Lord? The word Lord means someone who has authority, control, or power, a master chief or ruler, the superior being, that's who God is. And that's who we serve today. Amen. Revelations 19 verse 16 says, And he who hath on his vesture and on his thigh the name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Let us never forget no matter how much people want to deny him and do away with him, he is still 
the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is still the Almighty. Amen. He doesn't age with time. He doesn't weaken over the ages. Amen. He is still King of kings and Lord of lords. He's still in control of this universe. Amen. That's who we serve today. That's who we serve. He's still in control. Amen. Just because it may look like this world is a mess doesn't mean that God has lost control. Amen. God still has a plan and God still has a purpose and God still has a remnant of people. Amen. And how many knows today there is no throne, there is no kingdom higher or greater than our God. Amen. We're still on the winning side. Amen. Praise God. The Bible tells us that he is creator. Amen. Scriptures we read says that he is creator. How many believes he's the creator of all? Colossians 1 verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in the earth visible and invisible, amen, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, amen. So don't forget who you serve this morning. You serve the creator of all things. This earth that we stand on was created by our God, and He's the same God when the storms come, will stand with you and see you through your storm. As the fire of life comes, He will be there to lead you through the fire. Amen. This earth that we stand on was created by Him. The heavens that we gaze to and the sun that we see shine was created by him, amen. The stars, the water, the grass, the hills, the flowers, the old dirty snow. That was for you, Sister Poole. Was created by God and for Sister Poole. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> amen. <laughs> I didn't have that in my notes, so. There's nothing that exists without God creating it. Amen. He's the creator of all things. And if God can create an earth, he can take care of our needs today. So when life consumes you and you feel like you've run out of strength, when you feel like you don't know what to do, learn to run to God and draw your strength from the creator of all things, that is able to do all things. Amen. Hallelujah. How many knows if he took dust from the ground and he created a man, he can fix us when we're sick and when we're broken. Amen. He can put the pieces of our broken heart back together. How many knows sometimes our hearts can get crushed and they can get broken, but God can take the pieces and put them back together. But we got to learn to give it to Him and let Him heal even our broken hearts. Amen. And the Bible says that He feigneth not. The word, uh oh. <laughs> the word feigneth not means, the word faint means to get weak, dizzy, or likely to faint, lacking strength, vigor lose courage or spirit or become weak. God never gets any of these things. God's never up in heaven going, what do I do? What do I do? He looks down at the earth and sees our problems. God never looks at our problems and says, oh no, I don't know what to do. Or God never comes to a place and said, I've been working all day. I've been answering all these prayers one after another as they come to me. And he never says, I'm just tired. i got to sit down. Amen. He never loses courage. He never becomes weak. He never lacks strength. Amen. 
The God that we serve is the one that we need to learn to draw from because there will be times that we may feel faint. We may may feel weak. Amen? But that doesn't mean it's over. We can come back to the Lord and say, God, I'm weak. I'm tired. I'm worn. I've been in a storm. I've been in a valley. I've been in the, seems like the lowest pit. But God's there to give us the strength we need to get us out of that pit or to get us out of that place. Amen. Because he's never weak. He's always strong. The Bible says that his strength is made perfect in my weakness and in your weakness. Amen. And he also said, remember, it's not by my might nor my power, but it's his strength and his power that will give us what we need to live a victorious Christian life. How many knows we're victorious? Put the victim card up and start walking in victory. Amen. We are victorious. Why? Because the Bible says greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in me today. Hallelujah. That's who we serve today. Amen. He is creator. He's everlasting. He fainteth not. Psalms 121 verse 4 says, Behold, he keepeth Israel. He shall not neither sleep nor slumber. How many knows God never takes a nap? Huh? God never comes to the point and says, I'm just worn out from all the mess that's going on in this world. For all the prayers that keep coming up, God never gets tired. Amen? And he never faints. The Bible says that he will give power to the faint. God will give us power as we may feel faint or we may physically be weak. Amen? And there will be times in our lives as Christians that we will get weak. But that doesn't mean we backslid. That doesn't mean we're any less of a Christian. That doesn't mean we should quit and give up. I mean, those when we're weak and we feel faint, that's when we got to plug into the Lord. But so many times Christians get weak and they get weary and they withdraw from God. But when we get weak and we get weary, we need to know that I can go back to God. If I got to go today and come again tomorrow and come again the next day, I can keep coming as long as I need to. Amen. And he'll give power. To the faint. Draw your strength from the Lord. And if you got to draw it every... I believe we should draw strength from it every day. How many knows we can't live on the blessing that we receive on Sunday to get through the week? And surely you're not going to live enough to get off this message, what I'm trying to give to you today, to make it through the week. you got to every day go to the Lord and eat from the Word of God. Amen. And spend time with Him in prayer that you might have the strength you need to live this life out there in a world full of sin and darkness. Amen. There will be times in life where life just consumes you and just wears you out. But aren't you glad you can come back to the Lord and say, God, renew my strength. Renew my strength. And God said, I'll give power to the faint. I'll give power to the weak. I'll give power to the weary. I'll give power to those that are in the storm to get through the storm. I'll give protection to those that are walking through the fire to make it through the fire. Amen. He is our resource. He is our resource. Amen. Don't run away from God, but run to God. Amen. The Bible says to them, who have no might, he increases strength. Amen. Have you ever cried till you felt like you can't cry no more? Huh? Have you ever shed tears so much you just felt like, man, I'm just so broken. I'm so wore out. Amen. 
Have you ever felt so weak you didn't feel like you could go on? Let's be real today. Huh? I have. Have you ever felt so defeated you felt like it was over? Huh? Have you ever felt like life has just drained everything out of you or you felt like you have no more? Amen? But the Bible says when we have no might, when we have no more tears that we can cry, when we feel like we've given everything we can give, when we feel like we're at the lowest place in our lives and we're about to give up, the Bible says that God will increase our strength. Amen. If we have no more might and we have no more power, God will give us what we need. God will increase your strength. Amen. Just because we may feel like we have no more strength and no more might doesn't mean it's over. Plug in to God. The Bible says if we'll draw nigh to God, He'll what? He'll draw nigh to us. So when you run out of might, don't close your Bible and say what's the use. Open up the Word of God and begin to eat from the Word of God. And allow God to feed you through His Word. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Verse 30 says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. Hey, guess what, you young Christians, you youngins? How many know sometimes you're going to need strength too? How many remembers when you first gave your heart to the Lord, how excited and how fired up you were when you were a young Christian? How many knows even the young needs to learn to draw their strength from the Lord? Especially our teenagers and our children today. They need the strength of God more than ever before. Your kids and your grandkids see things every day that we never have seen. They go to schools and go places and see things they ought not see, but they see it. And we need to pray for them that God would give them the strength, amen, to sustain them and to keep them. Amen. Pray for your kids. Pray a hedge of protection around them. Amen. Pray that God will give them the strength and help them to remember that when they grow weak, we need to teach them that when they grow weak, they can go to the Lord and draw their strength. If mom and dad never prays, think your kids are going to pray? Mom and dad never opens up a Bible. Do you think our children are going to open up a Bible on their own? Amen. Some don't have the opportunity that you, your children have. You can show them. Some kids live in a home where mom and dad don't show them. They have to get it from here. And we need to teach them that when they grow weary and they need strength, that they can run to the Lord. Amen? And it's okay. It's okay to say, I have no more. It's okay to say, God, I need your strength. Amen? He don't want us to wear out and give up. He wants us to remember he's there when you're faint, when you're weary. And he wants to give you the strength you need to continue. But you have to learn to draw your strength from the Lord. you got to plug in to him. How many knows God's just not going to dump it out? God, just don't keep dumping it out. We got to go to him and say, Lord, I'm a vessel. I need dumped into you. I need poured into you. I need your strength. God, I know I can't do this by myself. God, I need your help. Amen. And the Bible says sometimes we have to wait. We don't like that part, do we? Huh? But the Bible says they that wait upon the Lord, then he shall Renew their strength. So how many know sometimes we will have to wait? But how many knows he's worth the wait? He's not a drive through God. You can't pull in, speak to the microphone, say, God, this is what I need, and you drive up to the window and get what you need. 
How many know sometimes you got to wait? How many knows he's worth the wait? He's a sit-down God. He's not a drive-through God. How many know sometimes when you go to places to eat, you got to sit down? At? How many know sometimes the place is full and you got to wait? But how many knows when the food shows up, you say, man, that was worth the wait. There may be times where all the tables are full and the altars may seem full and God's pouring into everybody else and nobody, nothing's coming to you, but you got to learn to wait. Hey, Amen. God's never early. God's never late. But God's always right on time. But so many times we don't want to wait. God's about to pour it out and we quit and we give up. God said, if you would have just waited a little longer, I was ready to give you what you need. The Bible says that if we'll wait upon him, what will he do? Renew our strength. But what do you do while you wait? Worship. We got to learn to worship. We got to learn to praise while we wait. See, a lot of times while we're waiting, what do we try to do? We get our phones out and we try to preoccupy ourselves while we wait. Try to get our mind off our stomach to screaming and saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. We try to get our minds somewhere else. How many knows as we wait upon God, we got to keep our minds upon Him and we must continue to praise Him until He sets us down at the table and He begins to give us what we need to get our strength to continue. How many knows today we have to learn to draw from Him? And if we have to wait, He's worth the wait. Amen. As they return to the music today, I want us to stand. When God shows up, we never say, I didn't want that, God, and I didn't need that. How many knows when God shows up, He gives us exactly what we need? Amen. He don't give you too much. You don't get up up from the table and God say, man, I don't need no more. I don't know about you, but when I leave the table, I still need more. Huh? I need more of God today than I did yesterday. I'm going to need more of God tomorrow than I needed today. But how many knows he's going to be there and give me exactly what I need? Amen. As we bow our heads and close our eyes. Maybe you're here today. Maybe you need strength. Maybe you've lost your strength. Maybe you've run out of strength. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're weary. And you need God to strengthen you this morning. The altars are open. I invite you to come. If you got to wait, then you come and wait. But I believe today if you'll come, God will give you what you need. If you need God to do something for you this morning, the altars are open. Come give me somebody help pray right over here. Somebody else. If you need God, Brother Dave, you come out and pray. Anybody else, you need God to do something in your heart and in your life. You're tired of struggling. You're tired of going through what you're going through. God's here today to give you the strength you need. But you got to be willing to make an effort and say, today I'm coming and I'm going to wait until I get what I need from God. I want to make a general altar call today. Would you come and say, God, I need you. I need your strength. I need your power. And God, I need you in every area of my life. Today the altars are open. If you don't want to come to the front, right where you're at, make an altar. Say, God, I need you. I need your strength. I need your wisdom. I need your power. I need you to sustain me. And if you need God to renew your strength, come and allow him to renew that strength today. The altars are open. Would you come? Hallelujah. Thank you.
and there's nothing too big or too hard for him. Amen. Remember to continue to praise him when you have no more strength, that he'll come and renew your strength. Amen. I hope today the word of God has reminded us who we serve, and it's okay to ask for help. Amen. Remember, no service tonight. Please take time to pray during normal service time. Pray for those that are sick. Pray for Brother Joe that's in the hospital. Pray for Greta. Pray for all that are sick, that are battling COVID and all the sickness today. Pray for me that God would strengthen me. Okay, let's bow our heads to be dismissed. Brother Jay Snap, will you dismiss us today?